How's it going guys, Vabliff here and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about the OnePlus 8 Pro and its camera. So I've had the OnePlus 8 Pro for about two to three weeks now and so far it's been a great experience. I've been switching from it to other devices as well and I'm in the process of making a full review of it and you can check that out over on GN Tech's YouTube channel which I'll leave a card above. So go ahead and subscribe to that channel if you aren't already. But this thing has four cameras on it, it's a 48 megapixel primary, a 48 megapixel ultra wide lens, as well as an 8 megapixel telephoto lens and a 5 megapixel color slash depth sensor. And while the depth sensor is unique and different, it can do a lot of wonky things including actually seeing through objects and that's what we've learned today and I thought I'd make a video on it because it does seem interesting. But before we get into the samples that I've taken with the phone, let's do a short brief science lesson. So this thing is a graph showing the light that we can see, the visible light that we can see, all the colors we see are part of that spectrum. Anything above or beyond or less than that, we can't see and that's why we can't see x-rays, that's why we can't see UV rays, we can't see IR rays, etc, etc. We can't see gamma rays either and gamma rays are very harmful to you because they have high frequencies. But enough of that physics. Basically to see all of these rays you need different equipment and one of the things that's you know mentioned a lot when it comes to consumer technology is the infrared sensor and I think many smartphones can actually see you know IR light so if you shine or if you actually use your camera's viewfinder to point at another camera's uh, or another smartphone's camera at the back, you'll be able to see a light that you don't see without the camera's viewfinder. And that, that's basically the IR sort of coming into play. And sometimes the IR sensor can be a bit too powerful. And I think that's what's happened with the OnePlus 8 Pro, whereas the IR sensor can actually see things that it's not supposed to see or it's just that OnePlus doesn't want you to know that you can actually do this with your smartphone because it can become harmful as we'll see in the pictures I've taken. So this first one is a general picture of my camera. It's nothing great but if we actually switch to the color sensor you can see that it shows up as a different image altogether and that's basically the IR sensor coming into play and it can actually see through the paint and see through the plastic of the camera. I don't think it looks bad, I think it gives the camera a retro feel and I quite like it. But let's move on to this next one. This next one is basically any YouTuber's dream, any tech YouTuber in the world has this sort of plant on their table or in their room. But if we go ahead and switch to the color, once again you can see that the colors sort of dissolve and you get this weird and wonky effect when you use the color sensor. Now something to keep in mind is that the color sensor doesn't quite have the same level of detail as the primary sensor and that's probably because the megapixel count on the color sensor is only 5 megapixels. But let's move ahead and check out this one. Again, pretty similar effect but if we go ahead and check out this one and I think it works best when you're doing it on electronics and basically things that have thin plastic layers over them. When you change, it's a huge difference. You can basically see the internals of the actual remote control of my TV and that's really cool but at the same time scary too. And that got me thinking, if you can see through thin layers of plastic, can you see through thin layers of cloth? And I think the next image is inspired by that. This is my microphone and that's my pop filter, don't judge me. But basically I wanted to see if it could see through that pop filter and see the inside of the mic and it turns out you can actually make out some of the mic to some degree so it's not a huge change and you can't really see through it very clearly but you do get a reminiscence of the internal of the mic and that's a bit scary to be honest. This is another sample where the colored liquid becomes transparent so basically all of the colors that you see sort of disappear and this next one is of a fidget spinner which I thought I would just throw in because it was just lying around and you know you, you don't have anything to do in lockdown anyway and I was just playing around with it and there you go again the same effect and this this one is of the Huawei Mate 30 Pro. Um, the difference is that you can actually see the fifth lens in there or another lens in there which is pretty cool so you can't see it when you're taking it without the color sensor but you do see it with it so again that's sort of a use case for this thing if you can't see something inside the camera unit of a phone you can use the sensor 5 megapixels you're gonna lose quality but you can see what's inside. So I guess you're, you get the point. This one I thought I'd throw in because people would be interested to know if they could see through paper and this was just an envelope with a paper with some writing inside and I thought I'd just press against the surface just lightly 
to, you know, help the camera see and whether or not the camera can recognize the writing inside. So this is without the color sensor. And if we switch, you can literally see a reminiscence of the writing, but you can't really read it out. So it's not dangerous. The feature on the OnePlus 8 Pro is not dangerous by any means, although like it can pose a threat. So um, especially this image that I saw where you could see through the cloth, I don't know if um, they can tone it down. Maybe the infrared sensors sort of uh, capabilities can be nerfed with a future software update but definitely if it can see through things like cloth it might prove to be harmful in the long run and i don't think oneplus wants to risk that but definitely seeing uh, things through let's say this remote control is very interesting and it really begs the question how far can uh, smartphone cameras really go and what's the next step for these are we going to see more and more cameras do this on smartphones or is this just a one-off that was sort of a mistake from oneplus and they'll fix it quickly with a nerf let me know what you guys think about this sort of concept on a smartphone and are you surprised a smartphone can even do this let me know in the comments down below as always thank you guys for watching this was vabhav and i'll see you in the next one adios